Hey everyone, welcome to a different kind of Walmart haul. If you are not new here, then you know at least once a month I love to share my Walmart fashion finds with you and I love making them, I love wearing the Walmart clothes, but I also really love Walmart home. So today's video is a Walmart home haul. It is sponsored by Walmart and here's the funny part. When Walmart recently reached out to me to ask if I'd be interested in this video, I thought, okay, they want a pretty quick turnaround time, can I do this? sort of looking around the room and I realized I was surrounded by Walmart furniture, Walmart decor. I probably wouldn't even need to go shopping to make this video, but always looking for an excuse to go shopping. So I did add a few things as I figure many of you are doing this time of year. We're officially into fall now, we're changing the decor for the seasons and there is some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff to be found. So I thought I would walk you through some of the rooms in my house to get outside, show you what I use every single day in my house from Walmart and show you some of the new stuff I added to kind of move things into fall. I do wanna remind you as with all of my videos, I will link everything in the order in which I share them up here down in the description box, which is below my head where it says show more or more. And I'll also pin it to the top of the comments because it is usually easier to find things there than the actual description box. So the first thing I wanna share with you isn't actually from my house, it is a present for my younger son who has a black cat. I have to admit, most of the time I'm ordering from Walmart online, I even do my grocery shopping weekly using Walmart Plus. That part is not sponsored. I mean, I know this video is sponsored, but like, I legit like get all my groceries on Walmart Plus. Occasionally I forget something or something comes up, so I happen to be in my nearest Walmart and I saw in the Halloween decor, this pillow. <laughs> so my younger son has a black cat. Her name is Nyx. She's come to visit here a few times. If you are a newsletter subscriber, you saw her in this week's newsletter. When I saw this pillow, I could not resist. And his throw pillows on his couch in his apartment are cream and black and white. So it's fuzzy, it's just solid cream on the back. I just thought too cute. So this will be going to his apartment, but I wanted to share that. Doesn't have to be Halloween decor. Okay, I thought it would be best if we start at the front door and we work our way into the house. This could be a little bit of a home tour as well. So first, if you have seen any of my Instagram pictures where I'm posing on my front porch, you'll see two wooden lanterns on either side of me. Those actually are both from Walmart. I've had them for years. They are still available. They come in a variety of sizes. So those are my wooden front porch lanterns. I also have white front porch lanterns that I've decided to set aside for the holidays. I like to decorate for Hanukkah with a blue and white theme. So I'm gonna save those for Hanukkah because I got some new lanterns that I've been eyeing. These are more of like a black iron look, a little sleeker, a little more modern, and I think it just kind of works better with my front door, the coloring. There's black wrought iron accessories, if you will, on my door, so it just kind of ties that all in together. Even the timer battery-operated flameless candles that are inside it, all from Walmart. They just happen to be. I did decide to spruce up my welcome mat. My house the front of it faces due west and it just gets nailed by the hot, especially summer sun. So usually my front doormat and any decor fades pretty quickly. So I did see this new for fall, what do they call that? Core, C-O-I-R, Quar? I don't know how to pronounce it. Gather to me things about, we do a lot more entertaining in the fall as the weather cools down, we're outside more. I know it's kind of the reverse of what most people do for the summer, but when you're Dealing with triple digits most of the summer, the last thing you wanna do is be outside. It's when the temperature finally drops, come October, November, we wanna be outside as much as possible. So a lot of gatherings happen, and I liked this black and white mat to go under the welcome mat. First of all, it's not the gingham thing that we've been seeing for years. It's a little bit different, but it is a black and white look, and it has a light rubber backing. So it's just gonna stay put a little bit better. So that is what's greeting you as you come to my front door. When you walk in the front door, we finally swapped out our foyer rug for one I've been eyeing for a while. There is a line at Walmart called My Texas, I think it's My Texas House. What I love about this rug is it is washable. You can just take it outside and hose it down. I like that it has a little bit of a raised plush pattern. It's really soft underfoot. And of course it is easy to wash and the tones go really well with the blues and all those colors that are in the front of my house. Now, as you turn to the right, there is a small kind of foyer table. And I do like to have a little bit of seasonal decor there as well. I added this new kind of stoneware looking vase 
To me, this looks really expensive. It definitely looks like something I would see at a higher end, higher price store, but it's very affordable because it is from Walmart. I've just added some dried plants there. And then I'm a sucker for pumpkins. I probably already own too many seasonal pumpkins, but when I saw these on the website, the sweater kind of pumpkin, now this one isn't a pillow. At first glance, you're gonna think, is this smushy? Is it a pillow? We will get to that when we get into my family room, but this has like a, maybe a foam core inside the knit material. So it's it's hard. It is meant to be you know sitting on a hard surface like a table as a decorative object. And then of course, the velvet pumpkins. You can never have enough velvet pumpkins. And I like all the neutral colors. I like that they're not orange. Although that sweater pumpkin does come in orange and it also comes in more of a camel color as well. Now let's move into the heart of the home, the family room and kitchen. They're kind of one big room together. We'll break it down, family room first. So as you're moving from the foyer through into the family room, they're sort of almost like and no man's land in between it. That is where I keep this plant. So I got this plant as a gift from a friend of mine years and years and years ago. It is the only plant that I've ever been able to keep alive longer than a month. I'm still not entirely sure what it is. So any of you plant lovers, it's kind of an aloe vera. I mean, I know it's a succulent. I don't know what it is, but what I do know is that the container that I put it in is from Walmart. Again, I've had it for years. I'm pretty sure it's still available on the website. It reminds me a lot of, I can't remember what brand, if it was maybe Anthropology or one of those type of retailers had very similar vases and pottery available. And I love that I found a look for very much less over at Walmart. But then next to it is probably one of my favorite and most used items in my house. I have three dogs. We groom them regularly, but dogs can smell. Some, some people have said dogs can smell. I don't smell anything, but I've tried all the things, but the one thing that makes the house smell good all the time, no matter what, are those wax melts. And I love this particular wax melt lamp because it has a timer. You can just turn it on and it'll stay on indefinitely, or you can choose, I think it's eight hours, four hours, or two hours. So if you're one of those people that forgets to turn things off, this is very handy. It also adds a nice little glow. And then I change out the scent seasonally and I have tried a ton of scents in different brands. I always come back to Walmart. The Better Homes and Garden line in particular has the best scents. And I just picked up a new one. I will list, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. It's like vanilla and salted caramel or something like that. I will list it down in the description box and I'll link the exact scent. It smells so good. I have one actually, towards the front of the house. I have one here in the family room and I have another burner or wax melter, I guess, in the primary bedroom as well. I still get candles and we'll talk about that in just a sec. Okay, let's move to the main room of the house, the room we spend the most time in. That is the family room. And most evenings you will find me curled up in the corner of that sectional along with the dogs. First of all, this chair, this freestanding chair we have, I love it, it's comfortable, don't get me wrong. I am trying to justify swapping it out for this new, not so new, it's pretty new chair at Walmart. It's from the beautiful line. It's this gorgeous creamy white boucle round chair. It rotates. I have several friends who have it. They cannot stop raving about it. I think it would look great in here. I just have to measure it out and make sure it's not too big around. I really, really want to swap that out. But in the meantime, you may notice that there is one of the Better Homes and Gardens cozy knit throws thrown across the back of it. This is the pumpkin pillow that I was referencing. This is in fact a pillow. It's soft, it's squishy. I think it's a great little decorative pillow, but if you have kids, like little kids, I think it would be a fun little fall fun gift to give them, throw it on their bed, a little seasonal decor in the kids' rooms. It's soft, it's squishy, it's harmless, it's adorable. Okay, moving on. Like I said, as I looked around the room, I was checking my email when I was sitting on the couch when I got the email from Walmart. And I'm looking around the room and I'm going, wow, okay. The, the actual television, the Samsung frame TV that we use every day, whether we use it just as art, we have, you know, you can swap out the art for whatever you want or watching TV. We ordered it from Walmart, like legit, that's where we got it. We actually ordered two of them. We have the bigger 75 inch here in the family room. We have a smaller one in Michael's office at the front of the house. And then I added, what's new is I added this little kind of dried floral arrangement piece to sit on top of the stack of books I have over there. Added um, a little spray of dried kind of faux pampas grass that I actually saw in the store, but you can order it online, so I'll link it below. And then under my glass dome, I actually have 
one of the Better Homes and Gardens candles that I just loved. I don't even think it's from last, it might be from the year before. It smells so good. And then let's quickly move on to the couch, so to speak. I love the throw pillows at Walmart. And one of my decorator friends told me that a way to make your couch look more expensive is make sure that your throw pillows have texture to them. These kind of sweater knit creamy pillows are beautiful. They look really expensive. Let's stay with the theme, very budget friendly. And one of the reasons I like very budget friendly pieces in my house is like I said, I have three dogs and they are very much intertwined in our daily life here. They sit on the furniture, or it's, it's their house, we just pay for it basically. So I don't want anything too precious because things can get dirty, it happens. So we have where Rowdy likes to sit on top of the couch pillows. I actually got another one of their faux fur throws. I think this is the fourth one that I have bought now. It's a beautiful sort of camel -y color. It's lined on the backside with a more of like a fleece velour camel color and the dogs love it. We have the full white one laid out on our bed every day. I can't wait to personally get under it. It's still a little too warm for me. I did order a new lumbar pillow to go on our sofa, but there's been some storms and some delays, so I'm gonna pop a picture in of it. It is gorgeous. Again, it's part of the beautiful line. And then let's move over to the coffee table because this is what I am the most, 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 most excited about. Better Homes and Gardens is one of my favorite lines of all time at Walmart. I have a lot of their furniture, which I'm gonna show you when we go outside. But I've never ordered, I think, any of the furniture from my house. Well, they just came out with a whole bunch of new pieces. And when I saw this coffee table, I never liked the coffee table that we had in my family room. I've been looking for a new one forever. It was under $300. You have to put it together yourself. It wasn't hard at all. And it looks and is a solid piece of furniture. It is beautiful. This whole line has coordinating media cabinet, bookshelves, end tables. It is stunning. I cannot justify getting rid of all the furniture in my house and starting over. If I could, I would. And here's the funny thing. The tray that's sitting on top of it that I've had sitting on my coffee table for years is also from Walmart. And I did add these two new gold hurricane candle holders from the Sophia Home Line. I ordered the medium and the large in both gold and then I also ordered them in silver and I held those back. Um, I'm gonna use those to decorate during the winter holidays. And there's like a little votive holder in front of those hurricane vases. I'm actually using that as a little vase and I just picked up again some like little faux floral things and I stuck them in there from Walmart actually. They're adorable. So as we continue this mini tour of my house, let's pop into the kitchen. Let's start at the kitchen table. I have raved about the dishes, the dish set that we got. I'll pop in another picture if you don't know what I'm talking about. So. That's those, they're, they're here when we're eating, but we're not eating now. This vase is so pretty, it's wood. It's a solid wood, I mean not solid, there's a hole in the middle, but it's a wood vase and I love the graining and I have it sitting on a marble Lazy Susan so that wood and stone together I think looks so pretty. Now I just wanna share something with you, little idiosyncrasies of the Goldberg household. I am a diehard Keurig fan. I love my Keurig coffee. I get the, can't even remember the name of it. I get it in my Walmart Plus order, I'd say every three weeks or so. My husband is a Nespresso fan. We got both of them from Walmart. So I've got my Keurig, he's got his Nespresso. Is it extra? It's a little extra, but these are the little things that make us happy. Moving over to the stove, that's my new set, uh, part of my new set of pots and pans from the beautiful line. And occasionally we like a cup of tea. Actually, it's our younger son. When he comes to visit, he likes the hot tea. So I ordered that beautiful, the brand name is beautiful, but it is a beautiful electric tea kettle. I think it's really, really pretty. Normally I keep appliances like that kind of tucked away that we don't use often, but it's so pretty I decided to leave it out on the counter. And then the last little bit of decor that I wanted to share with you, it's always behind me, right there on the kitchen island. That tray, that wood tray with the black iron accents. Again, from Walmart, I've had it for years. And I'm not sure if it's actually available or not, but the vase that those faux leaves are sitting in, it sort of has like a wheat texture to it. I got that from Walmart. So the last little area I wanted to take you to is one of my favorite places to be once it finally does cool down, and that is our backyard. Our backyard is very much a peaceful oasis. We back up to 150 acres of wilderness in the middle of the suburbs. So. I am close to all the conveniences, but I get a little pocket of peacefulness and tranquility in the backyard. And this is when we like to sit on our Better Homes and Gardens patio furniture. I love that couch. It is a full length sofa. 
And then we have the two swivel chairs and the fire pit all from Walmart. Yes, this is sponsored, but like literally, like it's just there. Like that's what I use. That's what we live with. This was an easy one to say yes to. Yes, I'm just looking around and everywhere I see Walmart home. So while most of the time when we're together, we're sitting here at my kitchen table, I hope you enjoyed this little peek around my house. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. I did want to add one thing. While we are talking about home, it's all about being cozy and I have to share this is a pajama set from Joy Spun. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It's a Henley type top, and then there are matching jogger pants that I'm actually wearing. Joy Spun is releasing a bunch of new cozy loungewear and fall slash winter type pajamas. It's my favorite pajama line ever, and you know how fast this stuff sells out. So I put together a little collage of everything that just came in and I will put a link directly to that collage down in the description box below. I didn't have time to film like a whole loungewear try on for you, but I don't want you to miss out on getting your orders in. So do be sure to check the description box or the comments where everything is linked, not just this stuff. And you can get cozy too. Thanks for hanging out with me today in my house. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.